Good day everyone, this is our first lesson for CPC3 Individual Dual and Team Sports. I am your instructor, Andrew Bergante Cabrera, also known as ABC. So let's start. For our first lesson, lesson 1, the definition, individual sports. Sports that can be done alone, either outdoor or indoor. An individual sport is a sport in which participants compete as individuals. However, Team competitions in individual sports also occur, such as Relay Race, the Davis Cup, and the Fed Cup. Okay, so just like other sports and activities, individual sports can be done either outdoor or indoor. But the main characteristic of this is it is done individually or alone. Dito papasok yung athletics. Okay, what is athletics? It is a series of events that includes running, walking, jumping, and throwing, to which, according to history, these four major skills is used mainly on hunting and war, and that is where athletics first discovered or first defined, but athletics na, or in, in individual sports, di lang siya limited sa walking like walkathon, running, track and field, relays and hurdles, sa throwing, which is javelin, discus throw, um, ano pa ba? Uh, shot put, and jumping, high jump and long jump. So, di lang siya limited doon. So, now, sa individual sports, um, it is characterized as sports na alone, and then you are competing, hindi lang sa limited, sa isa or dalawa, pero pwede yung maramihan. Just like sa track and field, pwede yung apat kayo mag-compete, mag-compete, mag or lima, or so on. Also, um, May nangyayari din team sports sa individual sports. Dito papasok yung relay race. Yung relay race sa track and field, yung may nire-relay na torch or baton. So, it is played by three or more people na they are running the field ng ng ilang laps and then if they will meet their body then they will pass the baton or the stick or the torch and the Davis Cup and the Fed Cup are related to golf so there are many individual sports that includes bowling um, swimming track and field hurdles or any sports that can be done alone and hindi ibig sabihin na may kalaban ka dalawa kayo individual sports yun, kasi yun ay dual sports, because dual sports are played by two people opposing each other whereas, team sports involve groups of people competing against each other, now, sa dual sports kung yung iba, sinasabi nila na, na sir rocket games like badminton are considered individual sports, no it is considered as dual sports, kasi may kalaban ka sa kabilang dako ng site. Hindi mo siya pwedeng gawin mag isa na para kang mag, kung sa essay pa yan, magmumunulog. May kalan talaga mag isa. Unless you're doing trainings and you are hitting the walls with your shot, with the shuttlecock, the birdie, or um, I forgot the other term for that. But we will learn the terms and history of rocket sports in other lessons. I'll proceed. So now, the definition definition of team sports team sports are practice between opposing teams where the players generally interact directly and simultaneously between them to achieve an objective the objective often involves teammates facilitating the movement of a ball or similar object in accordance with a set of rules in order to score points now dito sa team sports literal you will be needing a team now, um, the main characteristic of a team sports is there is only one material na minamanipulate. So, there must be a great capability on handling that certain equipment. 
halimbawa basketball. Ang bola ng basketball is one equipment na pinapasa, pinapasapasa at sinushoot. So that's the material na kailangan i-memorize or i-handle. Or halimbawa, sa volleyball, ang bola, soccer, bola pa rin. So usually ball games, pero not necessarily. Because there are some like rugby or the American football. Actually, there is a difference between rugby and American football. Um, like American football where it is a team sports with only one <coughs> material, but the material is not necessarily circle. I mean, not necessarily sphere. It is ovoid. So, um, one great characteristic of team sports is learning how to socialize and to work with teams because it is nearly impossible if you will handle the whole team alone because there yeah there might be a skillful one the more knowledgeable other like the captain but the subordinates or the teammates shall work or shall give effort um yeah, shall give effort to win the match because teamwork, unity, cooperation, and other terms for that is needed to win the match. So, hindi siya ibig sabihin na magaling ka, ikaw lang magdadala ng team. Kundi, yung whole team, kung paano sila mag-follow ng plan, ng strategy, yun di din yung magiging susi kung paano kayo manalo. And treat categories of sports. So, yun nga yun kanina. Sports is just so many around the world and it can be categorized into three, namely, individual sport, one player only, dual sports, two players, team sport, to three or more players. Okay, so that's the end of our presentation. I mean, that's the end of our lesson. It's so brief kasi uh, ito lang yung dapat itackle. So, masyadong madali din na abot ng 10 minutes. Now, for your activity, on a one whole sheet of paper, write five examples of individual sport, dual sport, and team sport. But, ang origin niya ay kailangan sa Asia lang. So, five examples of Asian individual sport, Asian dual sport, and Asian team sport. And, on your activity number two, below the examples, is a diagram where you compare dual sport to individual sport. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be notified. Bye-bye.